Hey, it's David here, and I just finished putting together my SaintSmart uh, 3018 Pro um, CNC router machine right here. Um, I've tried it out and everything like that. It works pretty well. I like it so far. There are a couple of things that I'm going to have to basically disassemble uh, the machine to fix that weren't very clear in the instructions. So there's this golden piece. There's the spring behind it. It needs to be sitting fully in there. I know it seems obvious, but it didn't show that in the instructions, and to do so requires that you compress this and the spring behind it with your fingers as you're inserting the entire piece onto this metal screw rod and screwing it on. Um, so it's something that, for example, when I first assembled this, I had it sitting right outside here, and so I had to Disassemble this whole piece, make sure I got back to my whatever it was, 46 and a half millimeters set in here and and um, get everything situated, which was a little bit of a pain having to take apart and do again. Item number two that I have not yet fixed, it's a pretty big pain in the butt, is that the floor here, um, as it slides, is getting caught on this. On the back piece and so I'm gonna have to alter how I set my um, future boards for carving into and that's because looking here this middle piece um, when I set it up number one did the same thing with this this screw here so that's another pain in the ass as I just mentioned on the first um, on the first item so I'll need to fix that when I take it apart but then number two is because this I did not have directly in the middle of the screw when I was assembling it nothing in the instructions said where that should be so I just put it about a third of the way in um, but you need to slide it directly to the middle in order for that to work correctly so now I'm gonna have to since that was an early step basically disassemble the entire machine um, just to slide that a little bit up so that the machine doesn't go all the way back and get stuck on the back frame bar. Numbers three and four aren't really a big deal, but I want to point them out. Um, so number three here, these, once you get them on, they do not want to come off without ripping the entire, um, the entire little brass or what, copper, whatever piece off. So once you put them on, they're kind of on there. And same goes for some of these. So this one right here. The tab to loosen it goes on the bottom, but you can't get anything under the bottom. It's resting right there. So you basically cannot pull that out without ripping out the entire housing uh, unit that it connects into. So that's sketchy. And number four, just another little bonus. Nothing in the instructions says anything about tightening these. Um, so I left them loose until the end when... Um, I then forgot about them and the motor would not turn this um, and so thankfully you can barely get your allen wrench to the back one in there if you have it at the right angle like right around here um, so it was okay to go back in and tighten those up um, and same goes for the one on the bottom down there that other other blue one attached to that back motor so you want to make sure that you tighten those up as soon as you put them on so that the motor and the uh, bars, screw bars stay, stay attached. That wasn't clear in the instructions. So there you have it. Um, just those quick four things were really the only things that weren't uh, abundantly clear from the instruction uh, manual for setting it up. Other than that, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Took maybe an hour and a half or so just kind of going through it slowly. Um, and now it'll take a little bit more time to take it apart and do it again because of those items I just mentioned. But it's really all I wanted to flag. Otherwise, um, I think everything went really well as far as the parts and clarity for setup. So good luck to you. Just keep those four things I mentioned in mind and you won't have to redo any steps a second time.